gonna save you. I'm just chasing paper. Baby, I can't save you. Cause I'm not a saint. I'm just chasing paper. Trying to break the bank. Cause I'm not a saint. Trying to break the bank. I'm just trying to break the bank. Johnny Cash, too complete to fit, I got to lock me down the bag, set the world on fire cause I already smell like gas. Yeah. Community love, we in this thing. Y'all know what time it is, man? Big swerve. My boy Joe, he ain't got the <laughs> 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 yeah. Y'all know the vibes, man. Oh, this nigga's got the professional. Hey, this nigga professional as shit. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I mean, this is it. Yeah. You were fucked up recording this too, weren't you? Yes. Every time. Every time. That's, how, but that's why I was telling like, when I start writing, I can't, I can't even record without smoking and drinking. I mean, it's bad to say. I should be able to <laughs> do it, but nah, like, I gotta. Children, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, exactly. I'm not no damn role model. I tell kids that all the time. <laughs> yes, sir. Y'all know what time it is, man. We here. Swerve. I mean, it's your boy Regular Job, man. I'm here with the motherfucking one and only Royale Swizzer. Hey, I appreciate you, my boy. My guy, my guy. What's going on, man? Not too much, man. Trying to yeah. stay out of the way and keep my baby mama happy. <laughs> hey, that's, man, shit. <laughs> it's, it's impossible. <laughs> but, hey, fuck it. I'm black. I do the impossible. <laughs> hey, look, man. We've we been defying eyes forever. Just <laughs> yeah, for real. Just by surviving past goddamn twenty one. For real, no, that's <laughs> it's, and it's it's a shame to say, but like yeah, that's what you like when you growing up. That's what you damn. I made twenty one. Hearing that at like twelve, like <laughs> damn, nigga, that's only nine years away. <laughs> like yeah. you, you saying, you saying I, I'm, I'm gonna die before that? <laughs> like, not like for real. Like, nine years? That that gets stuck in young black kids. It's like damn, man, niggas not making it past twenty one. But now, yeah. shit, the age lower now. Damn right. Like, yeah, these youngins is wildin'. Like, wow. This shit crazy. Wow. That's why I, I stick to my state to myself, man. I mind my damn business. Try to get my little my little coins. <laughs> hey, that's the best way to be, man. So, I mean, so we here in the community love shop, man. Yes, this shit sir. is fire. Shout out to community love. Shout out to community love. Yeah. Man, man. Um, so tell them about where your location's at. Norfolk, hey, we out, 1521 Azalea Garden Road. Please pull up on the show, love. You know what I'm saying? We're going to reciprocate, we promise. 1521 Azalea Garden Road, Norfolk, holla. Yes, sir. And y'all just recently opened up a new a new spot in D.C., correct? Yeah, uh, we got, so we got this joint, Community Love Norfolk. Then we got one in D.C., Union Market. Then we got another joint that just opened, National Harbor, Maryland. Like, that's the one right there. That's the one you yeah. want to go to to have fun. Like that shit got, they got the tiger in there. It's like <laughs> hey, a pet tiger. Hey, <laughs> maybe coming soon. Hey, what, what my business partners may be coming soon. They do shit very yeah. extravagant. He friendly and everything. Like he let you feed him out, pet, your, pet out tiger, your palm. A toothless tiger. <laughs> like, he let y'all niggas feed him out his palm and everything. Like it's all good. But nah, man, I seen y'all had made the news and some more shit. Like that's that's fire. That's, but yeah, like that's uh, major. I wish I was up there too, so I could, you know what I mean, do my shout outs, but I didn't get a chance to go up there. Uh, but shout out to Prince, he held it down. Paradise vibing, he's holding it down up in National Harbor. Shout out to my boy Kerry, I we see y'all. Yeah, that's big love. So yeah, man, July 1st. July 1st, we here, just, hey, it's just, been a long time. <laughs> been a long time coming. Yeah. We here, July 1st, the weed is here, it's free. <laughs> the bud is free. It's legalized in the state of VA. Let's give a round of applause for that, for Let's sure. Clap it up, man. So yeah, so um, to commemorate uh, July 1st, you you also uh, dropped a project. Yeah, we dropped the free bud. Hey, Spotify, Tidal, Apple, please go cop that free bud. R-O-Y-A-L-E-S-W-R-V. 
search that. You gonna be happy. I promise yeah. you. You need some. You need some good smoke music. Some good turn up music. Like it's a vibe. Like good vibe. It's vibe. I'm trying to be making vibes now. I'm yeah. trying to do just strictly vibe. I'm working on my fake ass R and B. So look out for that too. My you be mind. singing with you. You gotta you gotta have a button. Be, the, the one button open I at the top of shit. I be auto tuning my <laughs> shit. Shout out to Jace. She she had my shit sounding real crispy, in the auto tune junk. Hey look man, so you gonna be out here with with the Jodeci goddamn leather pants on singing in the desert? No and bullshit. Shit? No bullshit. I uh actually Jay Jay shout out to Jay. She told me that I should continue with the like the leather pants, all that shit. She said I should do that. So I'm probably gonna do it. Fuck it. She actually supposed to be finding me like a leather jacket with the tassels on some wild shit. <laughs> like the, the ultimate warrior got yeah. their arm band shits, man. The, yeah, we hey, when the I Randy do my, Savage when pants I do my jacket. fake ass R and B, y'all gonna see. I'm gonna do it different, man. This nigga gonna be out here with the goddamn silk with the silk with the silk <laughs> drop with the one button with the one button I'ma in the let, middle. I'm gonna let the chest hairs hang <laughs> with nah. the gold chain on it. That's fire though. So how did um how did the the, the breaking bud how did it come about? Breaking Bud, uh, that was what, 2016. July 2016, I dropped my first album, Breaking Bud. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I started doing like a few songs and I think I had just finished Breaking Bad, the series. And I was like, yo, mm -hmm. we gotta do Breaking Bud. So, and then, you know, VA was uh, illegal to smoke weed and shit. So just doing a couple of songs and getting like a rhythm, I think still probably my best project to date. Everybody called it a classic, so I, I appreciate that. But yeah, yeah once I got those few songs and got like a rhythm and an idea how I wanted to tell my story, like the Virginia Beach, like a soundtrack for Virginia Beach. Yeah. Like that junk came together and I put it out and I got a good reception from it. So yeah, I, that's pretty much how it came together and I put it out and got some love from it. Yeah, that's dope. So um, like out of all y'all, I heard you say that's your favorite one. Like, yeah, that's my favorite. Creatively or just like the whole total package, like. Like, was that your favorite one, like the creative process and everything with it? Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. Cause uh, that was the last time I wrote, like sat down and wrote everything and put it together piece by piece. Yeah. And I, I felt like I was probably at my best, like rapping wise. And now I just freestyle. I'm just like, yeah, whatever I say, man, <laughs> just keep it. Don't nobody want to write no more, man. Yeah, I Don't, mean. Nobody writes no more. I, I, I appreciate, I, I know a few artists that still write. I appreciate the, the art of like writing though. I kind of want to get back into it, but like writing with a pencil, hell no, I'm doing it with my phone. I've, yeah. been, I've been on my phone typing and shit. Like, hey man, I, I think I'm too forgetful. Like, man, that shit. I know Hov said it's like an exercise and shit, man. It is, but that it shit. is, it is. Like, I think I started off like four bars at a time. Yeah. And then, like, once you do that, like. Once you memorize well, yeah. the sentence. <laughs> once you start like memorizing, exercise. once you yeah. can remember it, like four, like four patterns at a time, like that shit comes like. Yeah. It comes real fast now, so. Yeah, that shit different because like creative process is like everybody got their own shit. Mm -hmm. Like some niggas got to be in the studio by they so just yeah. them and the engineer. That's, that's some kinda, people that's kind of like me. Yeah. I, I, I say that it's usually just me and my man, me and DJ. It's either me and DJ or yeah, me and DJ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Unless I got a feature, which I rarely, I yeah. rarely do features. So yeah, that feature shit is different because it's like. You don't you don't vibe with everybody all the time. No, nah, you, like, you don't. Some niggas really just want to jump into a feature just to say, "Yo, we got this song together." Yeah. But it's just like it's like some yeah some some fake friends type shit. Like yeah, like chemistry is everything. Like you can't, I, know what I'm saying? You like you can't fake shit. chemistry. So it's like sometimes you go in the studio and you might fuck with the song and the beat. It's just like yo, I would rather do this feature like Dolo. Like, yeah, I don't want to be in the yeah, studio. Straight up. Now, I've been to some like studios one time. Like I remember somebody invited me, and it was just like it becomes like a it's like a weird vibe sometimes. Yeah. So it's like when you hear something, you may not even like it, and it's like damn, like do I fake the funk and just say <laughs> I like it because everybody else like it, or do I just keep it real? And that shit. Yeah, that, but you know you can't do that with niggas nowadays. Nah, like, you can't. Like you, you can't like critique. You know what I'm saying? You you keep it real. I keep it real with niggas about sixty percent of the time. I yeah. keep it a hundred with, with niggas about sixty percent of the time. Cause yeah. like when I was the, I, except on Facebook, on Facebook I'm like ninety. <laughs> I would keep my journal 90, 95. But yeah, in, in person, man, I keep it yeah. like sixty percent of the time. Cause niggas is real emotional. Can't take constructive criticism. Yeah. 
Like even in private, like most niggas, they a lie and say, man, you know what I'm saying? You my man, yeah, pull, yeah, me, yeah. pull me to the side to tell me it's whack. Yeah. But if you do that, they still gonna, it's still gonna be the same it's still result. An issue. It's still yeah. it. So, I mean, I, if somebody asks me my opinion, I'm gonna tell them all the time. And yeah, I, that's I, you it. You take it, that's, that's on you for real, for real. Like anything outside of that is, that ain't my issue. You no. asked, I gave, you know what I'm saying? What else you want from me? That's it, that's all you can <laughs> so, get. Is, uh, if somebody asks your opinion, man, that's, that's all you can give is your honest opinion. Yeah. So man, how did uh how you how you been moving in this COVID shit, man? Like creatively, uh, create like I think I yeah I think I'm I've been making my best music honestly. I um I was on probation right before COVID, so yeah. like I got off like literally right before COVID. So I came back smoking weed and all that shit, and it was just like. I tell people, it's like, uh, remember PS2, they had the memory card? Yeah, hell yeah. Like, as soon as I smoked my first blunt, it was like putting in the memory card, though, I swear <laughs> to God. Like, everything came back to Nigga, me. Nigga, all, like, all the games you put the cheat codes and shit on, everything, like. <laughs> everything came back. I was myself again. I started writing immediately. Like, it, it, like yeah, it was. And then COVID hit, what, like, what was it, like, February? Like, yeah, March? Yeah, like, February, March. They started shutting shit down, like, March. Yeah. Like, in March, early April. So, I did, I did a, uh. A music festival late like the last day of fe- i remember it because it was february 29th it was uh the last time we had february 29th yeah did the uh vibe fest music festival right after that i caught like a little traction and then they said COVID should kill all my momentum yeah uh, and so, i was out of town for that shit too i wanted to go to that shit man that shit looked crazy that shit yo that, that shit, shit was crazy. Looked crazy i'm not even gonna that shit was crazy shout out to scotty p man scott medina and the frequency va family yeah, that shit. I seen the clips, the video clips and shit. I was like, man, damn. Man, I'm not even gonna lie. I was hot. Um, there was an incident right before my set. Yeah. So everybody with a camera or who was recording attended. Like they all went to. It. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, how the fuck did I not get no pictures, no footage, nothing? So luckily, my man Fingertips, like he was working the lights and shit. He, yeah. he caught my shit. So shout out to my nigga Fingertips. That's fire. Damn, like yeah, cause like half of the performances, like you you want to record them. Shit. Yeah, Even like that was like that's, that was my best performance. Yeah, I've ever had. Like, I had just did the face song. I wrote that shit like in my head on the way to the uh, the jump. Yeah, so that was my first. Like, I freestyled the shit on stage. Goddamn, had a great reaction. Nobody got the footage beside my nigga fingertips. Damn. So at least you got something though. Like yeah, I got yeah, you know I got yeah, I got like a and a few like little video like from like niggas phones and shit. Yeah. Like so it was all good though. So yeah, nah, that shit shit like that, like you damn especially it's like yo, rather it's your biggest show, the shit you felt like your best. Like mm-hmm. sometimes niggas really just record their shit just to look back at it like all right, I could Oh yeah, no, nah, for sure. I, that yeah. different. I still I still got footage up from like yeah. years ago that I still look at. Or sometimes you want to just look at the footage like I was that nigga that night. Yeah, nah, like, for real. Me. I mean, I killed the bitch. Real. Like, look at the crowd. For real, I always keep like all my shits where the crowd is going crazy. I them shits is up on my page, absolutely. Yeah, because when you throw that montage together, you ain't faking it. Like mm-hmm. you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't fake vibes. So, y'all, hey niggas, know like I don't, like I don't do the cocky shit or arrogant shit. Like I, I I'm fully confident, but a lot of niggas know when I do my live shows, like that shit is, that shit is up. Yeah. So, yo, I, performing live is like, it's probably one of the top three best experiences. Like, yeah, as, as a that's, creative, that's it. Like, performing, I would say performing is number one for me. And recording. Yeah. Recording. Performing and recording, my favorite thing is to do. Yeah. I don't not, even really got a third, honestly. It's yeah. just them two. Groupies. You said rubies? Groovies. Oh, gr- <laughs> nah, oh gr- like, honestly, no, nah, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Like, I don't even got groupies. Like, we had one, I had one groupie. That was like back in the day. That's a smart answer. Yeah, no, nah, it is. That's a you smart saw, you saw, Yeah, you saw me? You that's saw a smart me? answer. You saw my PC that's answer? A, that's a smart ass answer. <laughs> that's a smart fucking answer. But nah, yeah, that, that creative, like, I guess in the studio, I can see that though, because it's like you you literally creating the art. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. like a painter putting the shit on the exactly. canvas, sketching out the lines and shit. So it's like. I call it, like, I call it cooking on the spot. Like, I, when yeah. I go in there, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just gonna cook it right here. Like, we're gonna do it right now. And if I don't like it, I'll do it again. Yeah. And sometimes I can see that, that like, some of your best shit can come out that way. Cause sometimes, mm-hmm. like, when you writing, I ain't gonna say it's like you forcing it, but mm-hmm. you kind of like, 
you constructing it on the paper and it's like you can't really reconstruct it how you want to unless you I'm, like I'm rewriting very, uh, it and shit. I, I think I critique myself harsher when I write it down. Yeah. Cause I, like you can see all your mistakes and it's just, I don't know. Yeah, that, that's how I feel personally. Yeah. I think that's why I stopped writing. It's like with writing, you you kind of chasing perfection that you never gonna yeah. get because yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's you looking at it. Yeah, yeah. Nah, and then yeah, people telling it. you like, nah, that shit fire. You like, nah, this ain't. Yeah, no, nah, that's it. Nah, that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, nah, that shit. Um, the creative process is just man, that shit. But that's a, that's a to me that's the most fun part though. It's just like, damn, I created that shit. Like for me, it's just like, damn, I really just sat here and thought about that shit. Yeah. Especially like, uh, well, for me, it's like. If I think of a punchline I ain't really heard before, or something like that, or like a hook that's that I be saying like all day yeah. and shit. I'm like, all right, but <laughs> now nah, you be something. killing me with it. I'm about to go find a way to rhyme. This nigga yeah. have it'll be two of the wildest <laughs> yeah. fucking words. It's just like nigga, why? <laughs> like, Dude, I, I, don't, I just like talking shit on Facebook. Like, <laughs> uh, my Facebook is for comedy and negativity. I love going to the internet for negativity. <laughs> Shut up. Shout out to uh, negative vibes only. Yeah, <laughs> hey, on the internet though, in, in real life, like I'm, I feel like I'm so positive in real life. Yeah, I'm allowed to indulge in some negativity. Yeah, no, I tell people fun. like keep that negative shit away from me in real life, but yeah. I need all the ignorant shit on my timeline. Yeah, on my timeline, though, yeah, please. I'm laughing at all that shit. Absolutely, that's how I am for real, for real though. Nah, cause I mean, no, nobody want no negative ass fucking. Nah, energy, not, like, and they that shit like not in real life, cause it's like, bitch, I'm high. Like I'm, I'm trying to have fun most of the time. Usually I'm drinking after seven. Yeah, like seven bitch, you about eight. to you about to blow my whole high. Yeah, no, nah, I can't. I can't. No, nah, I don't like that. Like yeah, that shit. But some people, especially artists, like they take that social media shit super serious. Like because that's they, that's how niggas are. Pro- like a lot of these niggas was goofballs. Yeah, in high school they and still are. And they, they just are. got a little but popularity now. It's, now. A, it's a uh, yeah, exactly. It's that's the popularity, it. and then niggas that's popular like on the internet, they'll let you be a goofball as long as you popular. Yeah. As long as you do a money fan, at some point in time, you good or show yeah. show some bands. You know what I mean? A new I, a new uh, rental car. Yeah, I think this might be one of the biggest errors of like. I ain't gonna say everybody, but like the masses condoning sucker shit. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like this might be the because like back when we was younger, like that shit would not, it wouldn't nah, fly. Like yeah, niggas nah, be like, yo, I remember niggas used to really tell me like, yo, not me, but like yeah, t- yeah. like yo, get get away from me with that goofy ass shit. Yeah, yeah. Like nah, now, I mean, it, you doing some 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 clown shit around niggas. Niggas, niggas really shit, might be like, yo, get the fuck you was away from me. gonna get called out yeah. about the shit, but now it's just like, oh man, that's that's just him. No, no, it's yeah. not just him. That's a problem. So. I mean, but like like I said, I mind my business. I let niggas live. They like I ain't gonna tell no nigga. Yeah, live. I mean that ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm it's I'm just, just I'm just concerned <laughs> with y'all with y'all's way of life is all I'm saying. Yeah, that's it. Like just don't bring that shit around me. That's it. Yeah, nah, nah. Like you come around me, just correct your energy before you got there. Get there. Yeah, like my thing you know is always saying? respect. It's always a respect thing. Yeah. Respect my space. I'm respect your space. That's it, man. We ain't gotta like each other. Yeah, that's it. Like we never have to speak nothing. Just nothing. like when you see me, just keep it cordial. That's like, that's why I, I, I nod and <laughs> all right. I acknowledge you in here. Yeah, like but, is it? We don't got to dap. No, nah. we don't got to take no picture together. We don't got to do none of that shit. Nah. I don't want to be on your snap, like, cause we ain't like that. So, I mean, yo, what's up? I actually, I actually don't like that shit. Like when, like when you like, I noticed like when I was linking up with niggas, like once I started getting into the industry and shit, it was just like, niggas just want to take pictures all day. Yeah, no, that shit the work. Like you look up and the nigga like, yo. Yeah, yeah. Niggas, I'm just niggas like, elbow. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, like, oh yeah, what's up, man? Looking up like, yo, bro, I ain't even, I told niggas I wouldn't even come in here tonight. Yeah. Like you bugging, <laughs> like why the fuck? That should be having me weak, man. And, yeah. then, and then everybody got fucking ops now. So I'm like, no, I don't want to chill with y'all niggas. Like, yeah, niggas like, is creating ops just to have that's a what I'm op. Like, and I'm like, yo, why do niggas hate y'all so much? You're like, y'all gotta reevaluate yourself. If y'all got that many ops, you need to reevaluate yourself, man. I think it's you, man. Yeah, like niggas be having imaginary problems just to have a, a, yeah. a story to tell. Just like, as, yeah, like, like bro, <laughs> most niggas with a story to tell really didn't want to have that story to nah, tell. Like, they wanted the life that you got. Hey, man. But hey. you trying to be out here portraying some other shit that ain't got, you know what I mean? So. Like, I, like I said, I mind my business. <laughs> we just concerned <laughs> yeah, I'm about just the way y'all niggas with the live. Way y'all live in your life. <laughs> nah, that's I just have sure. concerns. That's it. But yeah, man. Like, I, um, 
I don't know. Like, I, I don't really sit down with a lot of artists because, like, too many niggas be, they want to talk about the same. Yeah, and that's why. Um, superficial corny shit. Like, bro, I, I don't even I don't even be telling people I do music, man. I just, <laughs> when niggas ask, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm a creative. Yeah. Like, that, that's why I tell people. I hate when, when be, oh, oh, you rap too? No. No, I don't. Yeah, because if you say rap, especially if you say it around a certain yeah. person, they're going to be like, oh, let me hear something. Let me yeah, yeah. rap, rap, rap for rap me. Rap something. No, bitch. Like, r- rap for shit. me. Like, that shit sound like you asking me to dance. Yeah, no, I really, and it is mad <laughs> like, disrespectful. It's like, bitch, I'm not rapping for you right now. Like, yeah, like, it's time and a place. Like, yeah. nigga, come to my show. On like, stage yeah, yeah. or in the goddamn booth. That's why I'm going to rap it. Yeah, like, unless you got a check for me right now. Mm-hmm. And this shit turns into a performance. Like, I'm not, you ain't, you know what yeah, I mean? I mean shit, yeah, yeah, you come up to me with a check and ask me to rap. That's yeah. a different story. We're going to turn this shit to sway in the morning. Yeah. Like, we go, we go. I'm going to give you 100 bars. <laughs> yeah, this, as many bars as you this want. It's going to be LA Leakers, nigga. We going right here on the spot. Absolutely. Fuck it. But yeah, so, what, um, you got any performances coming up? Uh, I'm trying to set up something. Uh, my birthday is at the end of the month. Okay. And then I dropped. Breaking Budge uh, on my birthday five years ago. So I'm trying to make it like a whole thing. I'm trying to figure out how to get glow in the dark strippers <laughs> in here <laughs> with the with the windows blacked F- out. Fluorescent body paint and a black light, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, <laughs> like, no I'm, like, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know what I mean? I'm trying to visualize how I'm going to do it, get the poles. I yeah. need the poles right. Now we got this big ass goddamn box. Yeah. So I can't even have two strippers on the side of me while I perform. So I got to figure out how to place them so they safe. I mean, I can help you with that vision. No, you know yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I, know, yeah, I, know, I hey, can help you with that vision. If anybody I can, can help, I know, <laughs> I know for a fact you can help. I know this. I can help you with that vision. Oh, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I just, I just want to invite. That's it. Oh, no, hey. I just need to invite when that this, shit hey, this is go down. Anybody who likes strippers and glow in the dark strippers, <laughs> y'all can come through the giant. But I mean, y'all, y'all probably gonna have to pay at the door and shit because I know how niggas is. They just like to look at strippers. I'm niggas. Ain't tipping shit. <laughs> I, I do the A. Hey, I go to the strip club and just look. I don't be throwing no monies. Yeah, but it's different though, cause we kind of start getting to know them, like like oh, yeah, being yeah, around them. Yeah. So it's just like I know you, bitch. Like <laughs> we finna go smoke after this. Yeah, like man. so. Bitch, I just I fronted you a dub before. Yeah, <laughs> like, bitch. Hey, bitch, shake that ass. <laughs> like bitch, that's the twenty I was gonna throw you early. Like bitch, that, oh, and, and if y'all bitch. if y'all know any uh, big booty strippers, please DM me. Their Instagram. I'm, I'm looking for the uh, exotic janks. Please. Yeah. It's the bunny load right here. <laughs> no, just like. no I, I, I want, yeah, at one point in time I was, you know what I mean? I, I did have a white girl problem. Not not cocaine. I'm talking about actual white girls. But I chilled, man. I chilled. I got on my uh, my enlightened pro-black shit. Oh, Umar got to you? Umar Johnson got to you, hey, man? I'm not going to lie. Hey, Umar is my guy. Nah, nah I, I fuck with Umar. but I he, fu- he just funny to me. But, <laughs> hey, shout out to Dr. Umar, though. Hey, get me on the interview, Umar. Let's talk about white women. I definitely want to sit down with Umar. <laughs> yeah, <I> just, <laughs> hey, that conversation going to be crazy. I already know. Hey, that nigga is going to fry me, though. Like, <laughs> he's going to send me to hell once he's he figures out nut, I've been nigga. sleeping with white women. <laughs> That's what he gonna tell you. You a, a fucking nut, nut nigga. Yeah, like, say, you's a nut, nigga. <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm not even mad at you, Umar. I understand why you upset. <laughs> so look, man, while we here, can I get that? Can I get the app for that Asian joint that you had posted that you wouldn't get nobody else? Can I get that? Oh yeah, I, I got you. <laughs> all, all, off camera though, off camera. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> so I still, I still low key want her to be my second baby mom. I'm not, I'm not sure. But you know what I mean? Hey, look, when you posted, I was damn sure about to go ask for that. No, like, and then yo, I seen the comments, think, niggas was like, who that? And he was shutting all that shit down. You know, I'm I like, think like right. four people DM me. I'm like, yo, nah. <laughs> but nah, I shit like, I, and I'm kicking myself. Like, cause I was, I was being faithful, like an idiot. <laughs> and then I should have shot my shot when she, before she had a thousand followers, man. Hindsight is 2020, man. It is, man. But at the end of the day, hey, look, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be there. Once I get my, my bag right, I'm asking her if she want to go on a date in Alaska or something. And you know what's going to happen? You're going to get the bag right and she's going to look you in the eye and be like, look, you ain't even need none of this. Probably, but <laughs> hey, just in case. Like, bitch, I got it anyway, though. Hey, so hey, you going to tell you don't want it? Like, you want me? Hey, bitch, like, we out. <laughs> hey, I'm like, going to scoop her just like this <laughs> and fly. Hey, I'm saving her. Super Captain Save a hoe. I'm going to save that hoe. 
Not just any hoe. Now, once you one. save, she ain't, she technically in the hoe no more, right? You done turned the hoe into because you can't you can't build a home without the word hoe. You cannot. That is so yeah. like that's a fact. That's a, that's a see, yeah. See I what I'm with saying? That. I like, fall with that. Use your mind, my I'm brother. not. I'm not even gonna. Hoes is fun. I'm not even going. I had I had a, a a good girl. Now that was cool for like a little bit. I'm like, damn man, like she don't she don't get lit. Like these hoes yeah. is lit. Hoes just they vibe different. They do. and they cool. Like they, they really cool as hell. They really want. They they really be like one of the one of the partners. For yeah, like yeah, personality wise and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. No, I know exactly what you mean. Know what I'm saying. Hey, they, shout out, shout out to the hoes, man. <laughs> I love y'all. Yeah, we don't do no sluts, and we love sluts around these parts. Hey, no <laughs> no, that's a fact. Ain't no, hey, that's ain't a no fact. shame, but we we love hoes around this parts. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying so. So the bigger the hoe, the better. Actually, no, I mean I like, and it sounds wild, but I like low mileage hoes. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a nice Honda hoe. Not the like like the train ran on you hoes, but yeah, like not, not you like, might have you you might have let my man's hit like a, a, like a week hoe. or two later type shit. Yeah, like, yeah, like, nah, <laughs> like I mean like yeah, yeah I like like a little, nice little Honda Honda yeah. hoe, little bit of mileage on her. Little, she, little yeah. Nissan Altima joint. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> little Nissan. Got about one seventy up there. <laughs> she ain't really cracked two hundred thousand miles. She got the one. Yeah, that. <laughs> Let me Got get that. Y'all experience and yeah, y'all know what y'all doing. Yeah. Yo, the crazy shit is like bagging the joint and realizing she's a hoe and the whole time you ain't know. That shit is like, you like see, it's like eating a cookie and then finding out that shit was an edible the whole time. For me, I, I let hoes bag me. Like, bitches be bagging me. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Cause like, I, I, I done had the same game. Since rapper like, niggas talk that rapper shit. I I'm, yeah, I let hoes bag me. Like whatever y'all interested in, I'm not gonna pretend to do it. I'm just gonna crack a couple yeah. jokes. You know what I mean? And then But no, yeah. that's the way it's supposed to do too. Like if you know what I'm saying, if I meet a joint in the mall, mm -hmm. and, but I meet her with her homegirls and I'm like, yo, we boo 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 and they come through and they kicking it like I don't have ties to her. Like, nah. she might get here and be like, oh, that ain't that. I won't, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I might see, you know what I'm saying? I'm you, a peep. You are, rule number one is you always let them choose. Yeah, absolutely. But you know, it's always that one nigga that's just like, nah, man, I I bagged her, bro. Like, and I, whole I, time he ain't reading the room. Like, nigga, I, she I let them niggas, <laughs> hey, I let them self destruct, man. When I see that happen, I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna just, yeah. wait. I'm gonna just wait until Shorty get uncomfortable and I'm gonna. <laughs> Take all, hey, we out of here. Uh, Cause the the worst one of the worst questions a female can ask is like, why do you hang with him? <laughs> like, Yo, hey, nah. <laughs> always, always my worst fear is always like, hey, whose man's is this? And it's my man. Yeah. Like that. And that's the worst thing when a female, though, like, if a female say that, like, yo, why are you chilling? It's like, bitch, I don't even know. Now that you <laughs> ask me. Like and it, it's even more fucked up if it's like somebody that's close to you because you gotta yeah. be like that's my nigga that's like my, that's my you gotta give it a rundown yeah, like I've yeah, known yeah. him since we was like seven like <laughs> this nigga pulled me out of a burning a burning car one time it gotta, like it gotta be extreme it, it gotta be extreme the only reason you hang around this nigga you gotta make excuse like yo he good nigga I, I promise he he good man he just he he <laughs> might mean, just be having a bad night that, tonight or something yeah, like having an off night dog that's it <laughs> like even Jordan had bad nights like give him another chance. <laughs> But long as the nigga don't start like arguing with the yeah, not, like I hate that shit. Oh, that's the worst. Like, like I, I don't even. I try not to argue with. If a female say something, I'm just like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, you yeah, got it. You got it. Like, cause <laughs> what am I, like? What is the argument gonna lead to? Yeah, I'm nothing. not gonna like. I'm not getting no cheeks. Yeah, that's what's gonna lead to. So like, but I'm not gonna fuck it up for everybody. Oh yeah, but, but nigga, some hey, niggas don't. Some I'm niggas will blow. Hey, some bitch. niggas will blow that bitch up. Yeah. Hey. Nah, some niggas got that mentality to like, mm -hmm. oh, if I'm not clapping shit, ain't no, hey, I'm going to fuck this whole vibe up. Like, ain't nobody clapping shit. And that's why, hey, I don't mind. Hey, I am cuff daddy when it comes to these, <laughs> hey, when I see a one-on-one -on -one joint, hey, I'm cuffing that one. And like, bro, I'm she got it. a friend, like, bro, she don't even like people. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, be, I be telling, like, yo, no. She nah, don't even hey, like me, bro. None of the girls I hang with have friends. Except me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm her only friend. <laughs> Things have changed. Yeah, so, nah, that shit, that shit real. But some niggas is weird, man. Hey, man, look, like I said, I mind my business. <laughs> I just have concerns, that's all. Big concerns. But yeah, man. Um, so what, you, you you working on something now? Uh, honestly, I, I still got like 
uh, I want to say like eight joints on release. Uh, and out of my man's did the uh, the Free Bud project. I'm probably just gonna start releasing them as singles. Probably put together a project like my son's birthday in December, so I probably drop something for his birthday. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, little man's crazy too, man. Oh yeah, that <laughs> nigga, oh my god, <laughs> that nigga is hell. Yeah, everybody shit. love him though. Like his teacher. Oh, he said he's he's the sweetest. I'm like that nigga. <laughs> I don't know. Like now you see how I feel. Like now when we was kids, like yeah, no, hey, when I, people tell your your mom and shit. I like apo- yo. I apologize to my I'm, I'm the nicest person to my mom now because I'm like yo, my bad. I didn't even yeah. <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> like I didn't know I was that bad. Yeah, my Duke. Hey, my Duke's is super nice now. <laughs> that should be throwing me off. Yeah. So, like, you, you just mentioned the free bud, John. Um, I know we mentioned it earlier, but mm-hmm. like, so how did that shit come about? And that shit dropped at the perfect time, obviously, because the yeah. bud is now free. Yeah. Free well, not bud. free. It still costs. Yeah, it still costs. Yeah. <laughs> but it, but, free, but, but they freed it they like let, now. They let I mean. my nigga out. They yeah. let him out the Bing. But uh, that joint, I don't even know. I think my, I think Sean was just bored. Shout out to Sean P. Swear. I think he was yeah. just bored and was like, "Yo, I just realized you dropped it five years because he, he's the one that brought it up to me." And I was yeah. like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's right." So you just started remixing a few joints for me, and I was like, "Yo, that's that's what's up." And then um, he actually put it out himself. Like that's why I fuck with him, man. He just he do his own thing, and he just you know I'm gonna drop this project. All right, yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Hell you yeah. doing something, nigga? Like fuck <laughs> it. That's less work for me. Nah, that's fire though, and it came like I said, right on right on time and mm-hmm. shit. So uh, shout out to Sean P, man. Hey, that's alcohol abuse. Oh, hey, he fumbled the joint. That's man. alcohol abuse. He fumbled. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that red light on, right? Nah, that on that on that. Yeah, this is what we do. This is a real podcast. Like, we making sure this shit technically sound. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, you got, I'm telling you, hey, this nigga's professional. We dog. talk to the niggas in the background on, on air. We making sure I this thought, shit runs smooth. I thought we was doing this on the phone. I thought we was going to do this <laughs> on the phone. I'm not even going to. I was like, yeah, we, I was like, shit, yeah, we do an interview. It don't matter. <laughs> but that nigga came with the duffel bag. <laughs> The core, I was like, oh yeah, we about to get busy. Employees and some more shit. Yeah. <laughs> so hey, I'm not mad. This one is it. Nah, man, I want to do this. I had to do it right, and it's the first official. Like we did our first first one. Our inaugural shit was with Jade Josephine. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Hey, shout it out was to like, Jade, man. It's only right. Like, nigga, she brings a vibe that like I've I've never seen in another human before. Yo, like, Jay, I, that shit Jay, is and, and shout out to Poppy too. I can't forget Poppy. Big shout out to Pop, man. Let me. Just, you got Jay and Pop. Like their vibe is always much appreciated because they just show so much love, man. Yeah, and they and they don't let. And she a female artist too, so I already know she be going through the bullshit. But she like she's such an understanding person, and yeah. she don't never get emotional. Like she less emotional than these niggas I be meeting. Yeah. That's why I'm like, yo, hey, Jade is it, man. And that's she'll my, bite one of y'all niggas' heads off, yeah, like for real. For real. <laughs> that's my favorite. I told her that's my favorite female rapper. Yeah, and I told her that, and like. When we did a little interview and shit, I told her that, and you know, of course, the modesty she, she got that modest yeah, shit about. She, might, yeah, she knows she, she knows she that nigga though, yeah. but she got that modesty shit. But we go <laughs> so, so far back, of course, yeah. you know, niggas like the. T- for you, my face. Yeah, All yeah, I yeah, listen yeah, to yeah. is you, bro. Like yeah. I, ba- I banged your shit in the car yeah. earlier. Like my nigga, you ain't gotta lie, bro. Like, yeah, like dog, I got it. Like I, I understand, but yeah, like, and I told, but then when I started breaking down shit, she like, oh, this nigga really is like, no, nah, hey, he really ain't just saying it. Know I what got saying? that shit on my 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 Spotify playlist and shit. Yeah, so shout out, shout out to Jaden Pop, and uh, I'm gonna plug them. You know what I'm saying she's performing Sunday. Oh um, yeah, 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 I'm definitely I'm she pulling up to that Sunday, joint. So what was that? Uh, Scotty Quicks. Scotty Quicks in Norfolk. Yes, sir. So, gotta make it there. <clears throat> but yeah, man. Um, so yeah, how I got introduced to you was, um, I think I, it was through Zoo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, um, shout out my nigga Zoo, man. Shout out to Zoo, nigga, crazy man. ass nigga. It's my nigga though, man. Um, it was right around the time Breaking Bud came out. Mm-hmm. Or it was, a, it was before it came out. And you dropped this, some, some shit that I never seen before. The video was like, I've never seen no shit like that on on like this level. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, this nigga got the 360 camera, oh, yeah, yeah, the, 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 the yeah. fucking. Was oh, like, yo, who the fuck is this? who the fuck is this nigga? Oh, I was when I when I and that's why I don't do a lot of videos. Cause I'm like, man, if I can't think of something that's gonna be like, damn, man, this shit is what like different. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. So I'm like, my next video probably gonna have a helicopter. I'm trying to get a in a helicopter or something. 
This nigga, about to, this nigga about to jump out with shoes on his hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga about to just do some, do some no, wild I, shit. I seen, yo, my nigga went skydiving the other day. I can't believe this nigga did it. He went skydiving the other day. And I was thinking about doing it. Because if that nigga did it, I'm like, maybe I could. But at the same time, I don't want to. But I thought it would be dope to do a video. Yeah. Like, if I could. If I could oh, have a rap. nigga skydive yeah, with you with like the I'm camera. And, and, and start rapping my shit. Yeah, get a GoPro. Yeah, you get because his, his shit was when he dove. His shit was recorded, but when I was looking at him, his fucking mouth was like, <laughs> I was like damn, I don't know if I'll be able to fucking rap like that. But like this man can't even keep his fucking mouth closed. Pause. Yeah, so you but, might have to. I mean, you know, I I, I give you some pointers like when we get up. I don't want a nigga to steal your idea. Oh shit, yeah, I mean, shit, hey, so many niggas done stole my idea, man. Yeah. Like I, I kind of I, I appreciate it honestly because if I don't use it, I'm glad somebody else uses it. Because all you royalties. I feel like it, but <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, it, worst kind of worst, man. You can go to Sky Zone. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. And do this shit and just have, them, <laughs> just have them niggas crop you. Yeah, for real. I for mean, real. good little video shot, Photoshop, whatever that shit called. I don't know the proper. T- I don't. So many goddamn programs. Yeah. I don't know what to call it. All that shit Photoshop. But it, I'm de- yeah, I'm, I'm definitely trying to think of another video that I want to do that would be crazy. Yeah, that's dope, man. Um, so December, dropping a joint. So yeah, I think December I'm gonna drop on. Yeah. So when the next song like? Cause I know you drop them periodically. You're not the nigga that feel like you just got to drop music every t- yeah, every not, other yeah. week. And it's just like. Master, I, I'm probably going to drop one. What's today's date? The ninth. So mm-hmm. I'm probably going to drop one in like a couple weeks. Cause my mom's birthday in a couple weeks. So. Okay. I don't know why I always drop it on like people's birthday. No, nah, that's, that's dope though. That's like, cause it, it, it gives it significance. Yeah. I'm just, you know what I'm I was just like, yeah. But um, yeah, cause I dropped my first project on my birthday. Then my second project. Uh, on my son's birthday when he was born and shit. Yeah, that's nah, but th- like that, that's everything. Like, like Hove decides to drop every time Nas drops. Like <laughs> niggas just Yo, have some. Sin- I do not. <laughs> niggas have significant dates on when they want to drop. I, shit. I thought I was bugging at first, but then I see. I was like, nah, man, this nigga Hove keep fucking <laughs> with my man. So, but nah, it, it, I mean it's good. Like if Nas obviously don't got a problem with it, so it obviously ain't nothing. Yeah. But, but actually, I, I fuck with uh with Freeform Lock J, man. Yeah, I man, fought, he talking that shit, man. Yeah, I fuck with Freeform. I ain't really, I wasn't a real big Jay Z fan growing up, but now, like, yeah, I don't know. I yeah, I was gonna that. ask you about that because I seen, I seen it was a little debate on on, on social media about oh, it's, that. It's about, always a debate. <laughs> hey, it's always I seen a it was coming at you, so I mean, for the once and for all, so niggas can shut up and stop asking you. Like, so what's the elaboration on that? Well, about Jay Z. Yeah. I mean, I was just uh, I was just never really a big big fan. And then like during the whole Nas Jay Z beef, I got brainwashed. Into, you picked the side yeah, to, to nah, thinking that, that either Nas, that either one, yeah, that Nas won. Yeah, no, nah, I did. But I mean, shit. If Big Daddy Kane said Jay Z won, I mean, shit. I can't I can't debate with fucking Big Daddy Kane. Nah, Kane is Kane. You can't yeah. like <laughs> he uh. He's the god. He's like the godfather of this shit, though. Hey, so you can't really has the the greatest flow of all time, dog. That nigga Big Daddy King has the greatest. Like the uh, way that nigga put words together was amazing. Yeah, like yo, him and Cool G, like yeah, Cool G on the humble. Like they kind of is. They kind of is what started shifting mm-hmm. music to like how we do music now. Niggas was mad. I said Gucci was the Cool G rap of this era. Niggas was real upset about that. <laughs> Man, Goo Wop don't get it. He don't get his. He don't get his just. He really though, man. don't. Like, man. I, I've I've heard people say he can't rap. I'm like, man, that man hasn't written a bar in almost 15 years. You telling me he can't rap? Yeah, we, <laughs> and we, we back. Had, we had a professional <laughs> snafu. That was a professional difficulty. That's all. That's all that is. And we kept rolling. That would have been. That was a smoke break right there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the whole shit is smoke break. You could have been goddamn. I seen you trying to reach for you. Yeah, like, like man, I, I'm trying to be professional. Let me let yeah, me let me like, get man, this answer out. Nah, you know what it is. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna keep it real. I bought this shit because it's not glass, right? And I goes to a party, and I was like, man, let me take my bowl because I don't really feel smoking blunts with niggas and shit. I bring my bowl yeah. up there, and I left it on the counter. And I, uh, I think I went to go to the bathroom or something, came back, and somebody walked in and was like, yo, who left a dildo on the counter? <laughs> and I realized what he was talking about, and I had to act like it wasn't mine. And I'm just looking around like, yo. So you just left that shit there? 
I mean, I left it there for a little bit. Oh, and oh. Like, turn their head up. Like, oh. But, but no, nah, that like that's why I ain't hit. I was like, dog, is this nigga hitting a dildo on the show? But yeah, that's why. I ain't, that's why every time I reached for, I was like, man, you know what? I ain't trying to bring that shit on a goddamn camera. But yeah, man. Like, yo, I ain't never heard it re- referred to as that though. Dog, I was wild. so mad when that nigga, cause I didn't even <laughs> think about this shit. But it's a goddamn, it's a rubber goddamn bowl and shit, so I don't break it. But <laughs> nigga called it a dildo. I was so mad. I was like, fam. We might have to box. Man. Like, yeah, you. I'm gonna have to have this nigga step nigga, up. Hey, if somebody, if somebody come up to me and ask, "Hey, was that your dildo?" We gonna have to box, dog. Like, you disrespecting me. Like, and, and you asking me specifically, yeah. like, nigga, is this? Bitch, I'm a rapper, and you disrespecting me in public. <laughs> like, nah, man. I got, I got to have you, fam. Like, I got to, yeah, put, I got to hey, put, put, we, I got to put hands on you. Hey, for real, bro. <laughs> you called my John a dildo in public, nigga. Oh man, people laughed and shit. Yeah, <laughs> hey, they, they, they laughed at me, nigga. Like, nigga, nah. I got to, I got to, <laughs> we got to fight, bro. Like, no, hey, if a nigga, <laughs> they laughed at me. Hey, that ain't shit. hey, look, if a nigga come at and you and say that though, like, you know, he really, he really, he really means yo, the shit he's saying. He like, about to beat the brakes off. Bro, they you, laughed bro. at me. Like all the other shit, none of the other shit mattered, bro. They laughed at me, like hey. in my face. That shit, hey, that shit hurt a nigga's soul sometimes, man. And, and the one joint that I was trying to bag pointed at me when she was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh man. See, I ain't never had that happen, but dog, if a bitch point at you and laugh, oh my God. See, nah. I, I'm from DC, so like niggas got still, I got still skin. I can't, I can't be fried and I don't get emotional about none of that shit, I just come back. Yeah, and you, man, you gotta have a uh, thick skin up there. That yeah. shit is, man. DC, hey, that shit mean don't crack. That shit is different. Mm-hmm. I kind of miss living up there though. I sure. always contemplate going back. It's just like I don't know. Oh, shit. Yeah, now we got these. So I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be up there. That's why I said if niggas trying to come up there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If you trying to hey, do your uh, hey, what, what hits from the street? What was up, my man's back in the day? <laughs> just interview the people and shit. Yo, actually, I was thinking about doing some shit like that. Like, hey, like I said, man, I'm here to. I'm here to help niggas, man. Whatever niggas got a vision for. If I can help, you know what I mean? I'm there. Yeah, Any we, platform I got, niggas, is welcome to. We got some community shit on the way. love, Norfolk. You know what I'm saying? We here for the community, man. Yeah. Shout out to Love Child Prince, DJ and Joy, my business partners. Love y'all. Yeah. How different is it, man, to be a business owner? I mean, shit ain't no different from selling weed and selling. Yeah. You, know I mean? you just gotta <laughs> be more professional. Yeah, it's less stress with you know, with. It's less stress with the risks. Yeah. Like looking yeah, over yeah. your shoulder every day type shit. But mm-hmm. outside of that, yeah. It's still, it's still stressful because, I mean, especially if you got business partner because you kind of got to yeah learn each other like in certain situations. Do I mean, do do people panic? Do they, you know what I mean? So yeah. It, yeah, it's definitely hard, but I feel like I like challenges, me. And yeah. When we got a business like this and we got all black business owners, I feel like it's a challenge, like even with us, just like mm-hmm. not having hostility towards each other. Cause it's easy for niggas to have fallen out. Like yeah, that you shit, see that joke. shit every day. Every day. Yeah. So it's just like, I, I don't want that to ever happen to us. Cause me, I'm mentally strong enough to take criticism. I yeah. know when I'm wrong. If I, if I don't know, tell me, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm always here to talk about shit. But. Nah, that's good though. You teachable. Like a yeah, lot of yeah, niggas ain't like yeah. that. A lot Hell of niggas yeah. like they know what they know, yeah. and that's it. Like can't nobody tell me shit. Yeah, I nah. ain't trying to hear shit, especially when they emotionally invested in that opinion. Mm-hmm. Niggas don't be trying to hear no no kind of critique. They don't want no kind of shit that's gonna actually better them or mm-hmm. no correcting, no coaching. That's why yeah, I, so, I try not to be like that. Man. Yeah, I used to be that. Like younger, like my younger. Yeah, days, I, I, I think everybody like was like that, that at some like, point yeah. when they were younger. But as I got older, like I say, like 27, 28, I was just like, man, you know what I mean, I, I know how to talk to people and shit. Yeah, that's it. Like I'm a. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm that, like I say, I mind my business. <laughs> like once I get tired of, all right, all right, man. All right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like oh. you just gonna get the nine verbals at that point. Like all right, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna okay you to death. Or yeah, like, or, 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 or okay. damn, that's crazy. Yeah, a true, okay. true, a word, true. Word, word, bet. Cool. Yeah, oh, word oh, and bet. Oh, yeah, cool. word bet. All right, bet, bet, bet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, I be doing that shit. So hell yeah. So now, nah, man, I definitely need. I definitely need the invite to that motherfucking uh, 
That's oh, yeah, hey, the stripper, stripper I'm t- hey, the stripper party. And I might lie and tell him it's my birthday, too. I, don't I know. mean, hey, I'm trying. Oh, yeah, I ain't going to steal your shine, but I'm going to be like, yo, it was like last week was my birthday. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, like I said, man, we always celebrating in here, man. Even if it's not your celebration, celebrate something. Yeah. Put it, hey, put a drink up. You know what I mean? Blunt you never up. know. You might get some leftover cheeks. Like, oh, I'm going to get, if if I don't get cheeks on mass fan, let me, let me not jinx it. Let me not jinx it, man. <laughs> I, I'm just going to say, I hope I get some cheeks on my yeah. birthday. Yeah, that shit is kind of like a, um, like a, I ain't gonna say mandatory, but that shit is like a goal now. Like, yeah. birthday sex, you gotta, like, you gotta get some pussy on your birthday. Like, Absolutely. Absolutely. It's just like, yo, nobody, nobody thought of me well enough to goddamn throw That's me some, a, some, I, some vagina wanna, on my birthday. I wanna be able to choose where <laughs> I'm gonna get cheeks from. That's all I want, yeah. man. I just wanna be able to, my you want to have the opportunity to, to disappoint somebody by going with somebody else. Yeah, yeah, Facts. I honestly do. Honestly do. For my ego, for my ego's yeah. sake, on my birthday, <laughs> let me let me have some options that night. Yeah, nigga, that's, I mean, shit, you might, you, you play it right. The options might turn into a situation like. Oh, yeah, and hey, I'm trying to do a threesome if you, hey, Like, look, she is. If y'all do that, holla at me. <laughs> I, hey, I need that. Hey, look, no, you only actually, get one no, birthday no, no, a year. No, actually, no, I don't want no threesome, though. Like, actually, because that's too much work, man. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm going I'm to fuck around and set myself up and disappoint. <laughs> nah, I ain't going to do that, man. Nah, so it's technically you just, you got to let them fuck each other for a minute and, and kind of like watch and like you, you, you kind of slide out of there and let them goddamn. All right, yeah. I let them get, do the hard, the, I got, the, I got the dirty my work. Te- I got to get my technique down yeah. first. I got, I got to figure out how I'm going to play it. I think that's why, yeah, because I was going to go on that bitch and freestyle it like I normally <laughs> do. But nah, I got I to gotta strategize that, John. Yeah, nah, the worst thing you can do in the threesome is be out of there in like four minutes. Yeah, that, like, they and that's, not what, go, they not go. that's why like, it might, that might happen, man. Cause the only way I know it's gonna work for sure is if I had the tequila, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna bring the tequila yeah. back, man. Fuck it, it's your birthday, man. You might as well. Man, that, nah, that tequila get me in trouble, man. Now, that, that tequila, you might have ghetto twins. You might fuck around. That's why. Yeah, <laughs> nah, might, I can't. You might, you might yeah. fuck around and knock both of them. I up. put like, that tequila God, down, damn. man. Real life, she hate me situation. Like you, you yeah. really gonna be that Yo, nigga? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. But nah, yeah, you let them do. I mean, do the hard work and shit. That, like. <laughs> Cause you don't want to let off before you even get to hit See, the yeah, second joint. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like, you hitting the first one and it's like, all right, I'm about to. Actually, I ain't about to do that. I'm done. Yeah, man. Yeah, I gotta, y'all, y'all hold it down for about ten gotta, minutes. I, I'm, a, I'm a strategy. I got to pace. You know what I mean, I got to pay. I got I to. Gotta, I gotta watch the floor. I got to read the floor, man. Yeah, tell them hold it down for about ten minutes. You'll yeah. be. <laughs> like, I'll be right back. Y'all I'm gonna go. Roll, I'm gonna go roll, roll up some, right quick. Y'all want something to drink? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make y'all something to drink. Roll up. Like you just go ahead and eat that. I'll be right back. I'm about to make a sandwich. I'll be right back. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> hey, who we add? Yeah, I might, I might fuck with the threesome. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can set that up. Yeah, Shit, I'm a rapper, so I mean, it should just happen, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, man. Rap nigga, you gotta live that rap nigga lifestyle, man. Whatever honestly, that is these honestly, days. Yo, that rap nigga, the rapper lifestyle is trash, man. That shit is trash. I'm not gonna hold y'all. <laughs> Being a rapper is trash. But, nah, but they make it look lit though. Yeah, they, yeah, they do that, a good that job. behind the scenes shit though, the, the shit that you got to see what they got to go, what yeah. niggas got to go through to, to get that. Yeah, that's why, that's what I'm talking about. I'm like, yo, all that uh, extra shit, that shit is trash. But a lot of negotiating and shit about shit that don't even just a bunch of dumb shit. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't even fuck with it, man. I'm a, I'm an artist now. I do shit on my own time. I'm like Prince and shit. He's Mr. Eclectic. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I try to be. I try to Mr. be. Mr. Eclectic. Nah, that's a dope though. Different. Cause that's. I, I think that's better. Cause you're not limited in your sound. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I try to take a risk. Like every project, I try to do, like take like a risk or two. Like, man, let me try this shit. Might be whack, but fuck it. Yeah. That's how I look at shit. But. Nah, that's why niggas niggas ain't making it. Niggas scared to take risks. And yeah. that that one sound that you like, man, I ain't gonna fuck with it. That mm-hmm. might be the shit that, that everybody might be like. Andre three thousand made. Hey y'all, nobody thought that nigga was gonna make no shit like and that. And I was one of my favorite joints at yeah. the time. It's like that's the, sh- the 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 shit when he stepped outside and mm-hmm. he won't goddamn rapidy rap boom bap Andre. He made hey y'all. Yeah, they give was me, like, oh. give me a little bit of pop flavor. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, I fuck with. K okay, man, like okay. this shit was so fire. Niggas forgot that it was a sad song. Mm-hmm. Like niggas ain't even realized. This I just, song was I, sad I, I just realized when they put. Yeah. I seen like a little like a YouTube thing, like breaking it down. I was like, damn, bitch, I ain't even realize he was saying this shit. Yeah, 
Yeah, nigga, niggas in there yeah, dancing and shit. Like, niggas having fun. See, y'all like, don't hear me. Y'all just want to dance. I was like, yeah, hey, this shit hey, is you that. right, nigga. This shit cold as <laughs> I was dancing my ass off. Shit hell, cold yeah. as hell. But hey, shout out to 3K, man. That's a fat man. So yeah, man, we can go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and start wrapping up. Any uh, any any final thoughts? My final thoughts, RIP, my nigga sleep, man. Man. We lost a true king. That's my nigga. I be smoking for my mans. Man. RIP, my guy. That's my final thought, man. RIP a king, man. Yeah, man. Going too soon, like. Way too soon. Actually, now now we got to had to run this shit a little bit, because I, I definitely wanted to give a couple minutes to talk about my nigga. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man. We got to clap it up for sleep. Uh, That's my guy, man. We definitely got to clap it up for sleep, man. He the, he the first one that told me, he was like, dog, you got to do a podcast. Because <laughs> me and him was like, he was supposed to come here and uh, we was supposed to like chop it up on like a podcast idea. But yeah, uh, yeah man, RP to a king, man. That's my guy. Yeah, man. Like, man, sleep taught me so much shit. Like, I've known this nigga like for the past like 12 years. Yeah, like, I'm about to say like a minute. 12, 13 years. Like, to, like, we've lived together. Like, yeah. nigga, when I ain't had nowhere to go, my mm-hmm. nigga let me stay there. You know what I'm saying? And right before he went to LA, he was like, look, man, I just need to cry. I get, like, nigga, give me what? Mm-hmm. Nigga, you, you know what you did for yeah, me? Like, like yeah, nigga, you, you but that at, was him, though. Yeah, like, he looked out. Like, he was. He, a, he wouldn't a take your bread nigga. and he wouldn't not let you take his. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was just like, bro. A genuine nigga. Man. Yeah, That's man. a real king, man. So, and like, he had that rare and shit about him where he really legitimately just wanted to see other people win. Yeah. Like he wanted to win too, but he it's it's almost like he wanted to see niggas win more than he wanted to win. Yeah, and that and that's you know the vibe he always gave. And it's just like when you got niggas like that around you, yeah, it motivates you to do more because like, man, this nigga believe in me. Like it, it's gotta be something. I got something. Yeah. That nigga talented as hell. So <laughs> like the nigga, man, like it's like Every so often, this I would look up and this nigga had a new like talent, like it's some yeah. new shit that he did. Like, and that's why, and, that, and that's why I always appreciate because he always rap, gave, like, nigga, he gave me <laughs> he gave me criticism, he gave me constructive yeah. criticism. He let me know when you know what I mean. So it was just like he always looked from day one. So ever since I dropped Breaking Bud, he always yeah. you know what I mean hit me up I'm like, yo, you got something. Like you just gotta, you know what I mean. So yeah, I always I always appreciated his opinion on shit. Yeah, man, that nigga like he's he part of the reason why all this shit is what it yeah. is. Yeah, like, this nigga. Gave me so many pointers. Like, yeah. look, I know you, da da da, but look, turn the camera this way. Yeah. Get this program, this shit. For, like, now I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, this shit, and that's what I'm saying. Like, this shit is professional. Like, you on yeah. your way to something. Yeah, man. It's, like, it's going to be something. And, I, and like I said, any way I can help, like, that's what I'm here for. Yeah. That's, that's what right. niggas is here for. That's a fact. Definitely appreciate it. And you know, that shit reciprocated. Like, that's it. That's all I <laughs> hey. Reciprocate. You see that? Reciprocation. That's, that's it. it, man. That's it. That's good business right there. That's it, man. So yeah, man, we gonna get out of here. Know what I'm saying? Peace, Motherfucking peace. swerve. So go stream, go download, go however the fuck you gotta go receive that Wherever free bud. It. It's out right now, the breaking bud. Yes, yeah, sir. It's, it's oh, up there, man. If y'all Just, wanna follow me too, uh, at R-O-Y-A-L-E underscore S-W-E-R-V-E. Holla at yeah. me, man. I'm, if y'all need treatments, anything like creative, just holla at me, I got you. You heard it here first. Community Love Norfolk.